In this video, we're going to look at how to use the Add Room feature, which is a new feature of the Google Calendar Sneak Preview. And the Sneak Preview was released the week of November 22nd, 2009. If you have not already turned on Sneak Preview, you can do that by clicking Create Event. Then click Check Out a Sneak Preview of some new features. And to turn that on, click on Turn on the Sneak Preview. You have to discard changes for the event you were editing. Discard changes. Okay, so now when we click Create Event, we're in the new interface, which has the sneak preview. So there's this new scheduling tool down here. So in another movie, we looked at how to check the schedules of your guests who you wanted to add. But now let's see how we would add a, meet, uh, a meeting room. So I see right now my event is scheduled from 4 to 5. And I can click Add Rooms. And I'll see a list of all of the rooms that are available. Now I can sort the rooms. I can start to type LAX just to see the rooms that are in Los Angeles. Or if I know I'm looking for the Lincoln room, I can just type Lincoln and it will just show that room. Now if I, I see that the green light here, the green square indicates that both of these rooms are available at this time. Now if I had changed this meeting, see I'm just dragging it to this time. I see that the Lincoln room is not available during this time. It has a red X here, but the LAX room is available, so I could add that room. So now I see the schedule for that room appears here. It looks like it's available all day. If, if I did want to just see if um, when the DC room is available, I could click Add, and now I see the schedule for the, this room in DC, and I see it's unavailable now because the development meeting is there at that time. But sometimes you might want to schedule two meeting rooms if you have people in two different parts of the country. So if I have my meeting from 1 to 2, I see that both rooms are available. The rooms have been added as guests to my event. If I want to remove one of the rooms, I could click the X by the name. So now I just have the Lincoln room. So I'll click Save. Now notice when I go to this event, the Lincoln Room is listed here in the Where area. So that's how you use the new Sneak Preview Scheduler to add meeting rooms to your event.